Uh, this is one of the other drivers that was missing from the other deal, and as you can see, it's in really good condition as well. I'm gonna tip it up on its end here. I'll let you see the um, back of it here as well. A little dusty, but um, all in all, really good condition as well. Um, <clears throat> still has good, nice firm spider on there, so we're good there. And this is the other one. And this is the one that you could see in the one picture that had a little bit of um, stuff around the outside of it. But look, this, this stuff all kind of comes off of there. So I don't know what it was. It's just kind of sitting on there a little bit. And I, I just haven't taken the time to kind of scratch it off. But all in all, still also um, in really good condition. No damage to the woofer itself. Um, like I said, just a little bit dusty here from sitting. But... <coughs> Most of that just blows right off. But look good looking over. Okay, <clears throat> this is the other crossover unit. Now this this one had quite a bit of <clears throat> rust around the outside of it here. So I have started sanding there and down on here a little bit and gotten quite a little ways. Um, I haven't quite gotten into all this yet either, but I thought I would <clears throat> end up sanding it down and you know repainting it in the end, but um that's pretty much these see how that screw is right there that's pretty much how a lot of them looked um before i replaced all of these with these stainless steel um versions here these don't really matter because this whole thing <coughs> they just kind of unscrew from the from the bottom so you can see as i'm screwing it it's unscrewing down here and the top just kind of stays there um, again kept all of the wiring and this is this is the wiring that would end up going to the actual um, tweeter and the <clears throat> sub itself the horn I guess in, in the sub itself down at the bottom and then this piece right here <clears throat> this just screws back onto the terminal I had taken it off because it wouldn't move and as you can see now it's fully functional I got it moving with some um, WD and um, got everything back in order. And I've cleaned up diesel quite a bit too. You can see this is kind of almost a goldish color. I cleaned up the other terminals down here too, so um, or the posts down here. But then this is a um, this bar is for the attenuation, so that you can do all three channels of attenuation here. You got two decibels here, four, six, and eight, of course, and then this does all the um, high filter, low filter, and lower filter there. <clears throat> you do have a high filter boost in too, and then this is of course your input, but um, these are kind of cool, these crossovers are, and they're pretty expensive the way that they are, but there's three of those, and as I said, all the woofers and everything. That, so everything's complete. All right, man. Later.